aside from the Pacifica Hybrid, which is the first plug-in hybrid minivan for the U.S. market. How's that for coming back swing in question mark there are no power range choices. All Pacificas are front-wheel drive and powered by the latest 287 horsepower Pentastar V6, which is replete with efficiency tweaks such as two-step variable intake valve lift, cooled exhaust gas recirculation, and a compression ratio increased to 11.3 to 1, although the engine hasn't yet made the switch to direct fuel injection. Starting in January 2017, all Pacificas now have stop-start capability, boosting their EPA ratings by a single city MPG to a best-in-class 1928 city highway. Our car was built just before the switchover point and keeps its engine simmering while stopped, it thus is rated at 1828ths of a meter, in our dance with the configurator and the Pacifica's five available trim levels four of which carry over from the outgoing town and country, we leapt past the base $30,090 LX, the $32,090 Touring, adds passive entry and power sliding doors, and the $36,090 Touring L, leather seating, power lift gate, heated front seats, three-zone automatic climate control, to the $39,390 Touring L Plus, as it's the least expensive way to get the new Uconnect Theater rear seat entertainment. Oddly, this is a $1,995 option on the more expensive limited model, although lesser trims offer an optional single-screen rear seat entertainment system, Uconnect Theater features two 10-inch touchscreens that flip up from the back of the front seats. In addition to the usual DVD capability, there's an HDMI port for each screen and kid-friendly built-in apps and games such as Bingo, Checkers, the license plate game, and Tic-Tac-Toe, which can be played against your traveling companion, as well as an Are We There Yet? app that keeps rear seat riders informed of progress toward an entered navigation destination. The Touring L Plus model also includes the larger, 8.4-inch Uconnect screen up front, a system we generally find easy to use and one of the quickest responding touch screens we've tested, a larger display screen in the instrument cluster, a power seat for the front passenger, and a heated steering wheel in second row seats. <laughs> Damn phones, Babylon's came